To a rainy afternoon tea time and sometimes you just have to suck it up and go about your day whether it's rainy or not I've got every light on in the kitchen and the living room just to brighten things up it's just you know it's just one of those days I've been on the phone most of the day seems like I can't get anything done but all you can do is all you can do, you know? I can't change things. I can't change the past. I can't change the future. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. All I can do is guard my heart and know that I've done everything I can do. That's all I can do. We got a good report from Dina. Not great, but not bad. But they, her, her breast cancer is back. But it's in the beginning stages. So they can take care of it. We got another report from Ben that's not the greatest. But it means we get to start over with chemo. He has three blockages, two of which are tumors in his, in his, um, in his abdomen. So it's not good. Please pray for him and Dina. They're both, they're just stressed out and in bad shape. So, 
Just keep them in your prayers. Lift them up. Lift up. I can't fix it, but I can help. I can be there. I can pray. Y'all can pray. We can all, you know, we just, sometimes we just have to let it go and let God do his miracles. Do his miracles. We can't complain. We can't whine. We just have to accept things and keep going. And that's where we are right now. And I, I know, I know, in my heart. Yeah, Susan is there. Susan just got ordained by um, Joan Hunter Ministries out of Houston. And she is a pastor now. And just, she is helping people. And she believes in healing. And, you know, we can do this. We really can. We really can. We just have to be faithful. Be faithful. And it's just like this plaque says, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's Hebrews 11.1. 1. It's my favorite verse in the Bible because without faith, we have nothing. We have nothing. So keep the faith. Keep strong and know that everything's where it's supposed to be. There's lessons to be learned and things to do. And sometimes what we need to do is just lace up our shoes and get after it. Yeah, just get up and do something. Because sitting on your bottom and twiddling your thumbs, you know, twiddling your thumbs, doesn't get you anywhere. Sitting in a rocking chair and rocking doesn't get you anywhere. But you know, you get up and you walk around the house with a purple rag in your hand or a mop in your hands and you dance to uh, and mop the house. Doing that. Just those little things is going to make you feel better. Getting up and getting dressed to lace up shoes without without giving in to that urge to go back to bed. We have to get up and do something to take care of ourselves. Yep. Now, last Christmas, last November, Ben got out of prison. He was in prison for five years, y'all. Five years of being locked away. And then we couldn't start chemo until January, and he started chemo. And then by May, he was doing so much better. And I wasn't able to be over there because we shut down here. We're still shut down in North Carolina. We are still shut down. And I can't go over there and stay because Knoxville is covered up with COVID. So my family has said, Mom, you have Mom and honey, you have to stay home. And I understand that. I am here for all of you. I am here. I can be on the phone. I can be on FaceTime. I can do everything. I need. Ben is my nephew. His mama passed away two years ago, who was my sister. And her name was Leanne, spelled L-E-E, -E, another word, A-N-N. -N. So... But Ben was diagnosed with stage four ab appendiceal cancer while he was in prison. They took him to Nashville. They took out a large portion of his uh, a large intestines and part of his small intestines. And the doctor told him this morning at 5 a.m. that they can't do any more surgery or they wouldn't have enough to even hook up a colonoscopy, colonoscopy bag. So all they can do, all they can do is start the chemo again. He went through uh, seven or eight rounds of chemo, and he was looking his old self. He was looking great, and now he's lost 30 pounds in, in 30 days, pretty much, in a month. And it's discouraging. I know he's discouraged. 
but everything happens for a reason. And when he survives this mess, when he survives it, he will have one heck of a testimonial because the devil has tried to put him down another time. Yeah. And it's not going to happen because we have faith and he has faith because I talked to him about it this morning and he cried out to God. He cried out. So folks, we have to lift them up. We can't change what's happened in the past. All we can do is go forward. And when we, if I can teach you nothing else but that is to let go of the past. Let go of the past. And take baby steps to go forward. That is all any of us are asked to do. To live in the present. What can I do right now? Right this minute, that's going to make tomorrow a little bit better. What can I do in the next couple of minutes that is going to make tomorrow a little bit easier? What can I do? Fall down on my knees and pray, pray, pray. But sometimes we have to get out of our closets, y'all. We have to get out of our closets and we have to take actions. And those actions include taking care of you. If I don't take care of me, who will? If I don't take care of me, who's going to take care of Ben? Yeah, who's going to take care of Ben? Who's going to take care of Dina? Who's going to take care of y'all? If I don't take care of me, who's going to do that? So living for today, that's all we've been promised. Um, I mean, one of my favorite persons to listen to is Rush Limbaugh. And he has stage four lung cancer. And he's been undergoing chemo and lots of bad things. And he said, he wakes up in the morning and the first thing he does is, thank you, God, for letting me wake up this morning. Thank you, God. So finding those things to be grateful for. Start your gratitude journal. Be Thankful that you woke up this morning. Be thankful that you have the ability to put a, a dinner on the table. Be thankful that you have a house to clean. Be thankful. Because if you're not thankful for the blessings you have, those blessings.